Hey, hi there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, December 8th to the 14th of 2019. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a heavy, difficult reading, so please remember it's not going to apply to everyone. These are general meanings. Okay, Leo. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. This is the situation. The Ten of Swords, Leo, air energy. This is a period of trials and hardships. Could be backstabbing, gossip. It's now Having hit rock bottom, you'll need to make a clean break, break from this past hurtful pain. A new cycle is going to begin. From here, it only gets better. You might have given up, and now there's closure. It's enough. It was as bad as it could possibly have gotten, and now there's nowhere to go but up. You may have felt you were a victim, been betrayed or lied to. This is someone that may have felt they made huge sacrifices for others and yet received nothing in return. This is a lesson to learn. It's painful endings with no return. Broken trust. A need to draw wisdom from a defeat. This is something that can no longer be fixed. You'll have to start manifesting a new beginning. It's allowing change rather than fighting it. It's, you'll need to prepare and plan and cope with this mental plane. These are painful endings, being deeply wounded. There may have been a loss or a lack of support, but there's renewed hope on the horizon and peace and calm can be found. You need to let go and accept the current circumstances. And remember, this ordeal will pass. Your second card, and these are the energies that are crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. King of Cups, Leo. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Now, this can be a male or a female. In general readings, we never get hung up on the gender. This is someone that's composed, they're wise and calm, and they hold in their feelings. They're holding in complex emotions. They're relaxed and non-threatening. They're reliable. They have interests in the arts. This can be a creative type person. This, the fish is a symbol of creative imagination. This is the one that is the master of emotions, and they can change their moods at will. They can be found in a helping position, yet they need to stay in touch with their feelings. This is working through fears that bring us to that desirable state where we are wishlessly happy. Someone in love may be worrying things like a terrier, Worrying and worrying. You'll need to use good judgments and fair practices. This is someone that's a perfect diplomat, yet they show their emotions less than they talk about them. They're very dip diplomatic. They're self-sacrificing. They have highly developed social skills. They may be controlling or concealing emotions. Meditating, counseling, ministering, intuiting other people's needs providing emotional support. Could be diffusing tense situations. The Ten of Swords with the King of Cups. This is healing and recovering from grief. Grief, it's coping with something bad. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. The Three of Cups, Leo, water energy. This is a card of celebration. It's fun and ritual. It's people coming together and celebrating. It could be friends. This can represent someone's mercury and cancer. This is healing and abundance and cooperation with others. It can be a circle of friends. This can be only the beginning. You'll get to enjoy the moment, but there's still some hard work ahead. There's delight. It can be a happy occasion can be a gathering of friends, festivals, being sociable and joyful and playful. It's 
experiencing emotional breakthroughs and extending goodwill. The Ten of Swords with the Three of Cups, this may be feeling like a victim or a martyr. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the resolution. Now being in the future position, this can be a surprise. The Three of Swords, Leo, Air Energy. This is a painful realization, a painful truth. It's a difficult realization. It brings in emotional pain. It can be a difficult loss. It's a flash of understanding. It can be someone Saturn in Leo, I mean Libra, Saturn in Libra. Maybe your hopes were higher than the results, and now there's sorrow and regret. It can be separation and severance and feeling isolated from something or someone you love. And you're feeling this pain of separation. But the suffering is coming from holding on to the past. This can represent a love triangle. Loss, sorrow, and betrayal. A necessary sacrifice. The end of a relationship. The loss of trust due to betrayal, rejection, even losing your job. It can be the end of some sort of ailment through surgery or a letting go of some way of thinking that is no longer useful. It's not an easy loss but the release will make room for further growth and maturity. Pain is a strong motivator to change, and when you fix it, you can grow. This can be a third party involved. It's depression and longing and separation through distance. It's quarrels and upsets and divided opinions. Sadness from being apart. It's stormy weather for the emotions, quarrels or separations or tears over a faithless lover. It's clearing the ground for something new with that flash of understanding or insight into the situation as it really is. It's the emotional truth. Its difficulty can be overcome if faced honestly and worked with. It's sorting out the affairs of the heart. This emotional rawness must be allowed to run its course. The Ten of Swords with the Three of Swords, this is pain and loss and betrayal and feeling like you can never trust again. I'm sorry, you guys, Leo. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card, an underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Eight of Swords, Leo. More air energy here. This is a card of feeling stuck. It's a temporary endurance, has to do with your state of mind. It's restrictions and limiting beliefs. It could be butts bondage. It's fear to move out of a situation and be in your own worst enemy because you can change matters. This is a bad situation that is temporary, feeling trapped, maybe making excuses or using victim mentality. This is someone's Jupiter in Gemini. You'll need to use courage to think in a new way and cast off bonds and obligations. And in this situation at hand, unless you change habitual behavior, you'll not get any further. And when you dwell on wrong thoughts and ideas, it binds you from moving forward. You may be fearful of moving out of a situation that is binding, but a sign will come to show the way. There are problems to overcome and decisions to make, and you will not remain stuck. You're feeling trapped like there's no way out. But there is a solution to every problem. And remember, real freedom comes from inside your own spirit. This is feeling bound, bound by circumstances. You're not really confined. This is only thinking that you are, and that thinking makes it so. These are mind force manacles, prisons of thoughts, doubts, resentments, judgments, obsessions, and projections. And you're confused about what to do. And you're afraid to make the wrong decision. These blindfolds can mean you're not seeing the obvious. The Ten of Swords with the Eight of Swords represents deep insecurities. The King of Cups with the Three of Cups. This is understanding happy emotions of those around you. And the King of Cups with the Three of Swords. This is understanding the root of the behavior even though hurt and continuing on with bitterness and not forgetting but understanding why and not letting your pain control you. This can also represent an abusive relationship. The King of Swords with the Eight of Swords, this is feelings of manipulation and beliefs 
beliefs that there are no other options. It's hiding deep emotions and feeling trapped inside your mind. It's going through the motions. The Three of Cups with the Three of Swords. This is two threes in your rating, which represent calm. It's joy and fun drained from a relationship. It could be a third person causes problems in its feelings that are being kept in. In some people's, not everybody, this can represent sexual experimentation. The Three of Cups with the Eight of Swords is overthinking about it. It's joy and confusion. The Three of Swords with the Eight of Swords, these are arguments and a need to speak up for yourself and the fear of getting hurt. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. Leo, you've got Shaman. Ancient Healing Wisdom. Shaman. Definitely a need for healing here with this reading. The deep, compassionate eyes of this Native American shaman portray the wisdom of one who has seen and who knows. He has witnessed visions, spirits, suffering, and joy, and knows that everything that exists has spirit's intentionality behind it. Able to travel beyond the veil of ordinary reality, the shaman's primary assignment is to discern and maintain the balance between what is his human community takes from the natural world and what it gives back. When this relationship is out of balance, the shaman must do whatever is necessary to restore it. Balance equals healing. The shaman lives his life in ceremony and treats everything with reverence, including the great mystery of death and the even greater mystery of life. He works with his spirit helpers, including his ancestral spirits, to help him in his service to his people and to Earth Mother, providing a liaison between spiritual and physical worlds. Charged with relieving suffering as one of his priorities, the shaman does so by first always tending to the spiritual wound, the source of all illness. These healing powers have been passed along over a millennia from the ancient ones, who knew the healing and curative powers of spirit. Leo and all illness, whether physical, emotional, or psychological, stem from an illness of spirit. It may be due to soul loss, psychic intrusions, ancestral karma, or any other spiritual causes that could be contributing to the manifest condition for which you seek help. Whatever other mythologies or remedies you pursue, whether allopathic, alternative, or a combination, let the healing of your spirit be your priority. Know that the deepest spiritual wound is the illusion of being separate from Source, God, Great Spirit, or whatever name you give the Creator. It is the trick of the mind that creates this sense of separation. This is a time for deep healing, starting your, with your relationship with Spirit. Call upon your Spirit guides and ancestors to help you with any emotional, mental, or physical healing that you need. Call upon the Creator to assist you in mending any rift in your relationship with Spirit. Choose thoughts that support wholeness and well-being. Allow any darker thoughts or shadows to appear as well, but simply observe them as they arise in consciousness, then dissolve. See yourself as healed, whole, and complete, and it shall be. Thanks, you guys, Leo, for watching. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings and a whole ton of healing. Thanks for watching.